Hey guys, it's your boy we back with more Mount Future Fight content and today we are taking a look at the best striker to use for a tier 4 character specifically for now Iron Man. Okay, so we know we can choose uh, different strikers in the list. We have Loki, we have the Justice characters and the Justice character which is the same instinct as the Iron Man's, the tier 4 character's instinct, you get a bonus accumulation on this thing, the 2.2%. Other than that, if you use any other character, you actually get, uh, like when you use any other character, which should be like anyone, like Silver Surfer, uh, for example, you get 1.6 only. So it is less accumulation, should be bad because more accumulation, of course, is the best, but somehow, uh, <laughs> it's it's not it's not bad. So uh, my, my friend, uh, ODS Sam, uh, if you guys know, nope, Amazing ABX player. He actually uh, gave a suggestion in the Smash chat that uh, Loki is the best striker. And he thinks that Loki is the best striker for Iron Man. Specifically for ABX. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to look for the other content. So today, what we'll do is we will compare Gwenpool run that we had in the video 12 million against Loki run that we will do now. Uh, for the ABX and for dispatch, we will do the Daredevil, which a lot of people have been saying Daredevil is the best for Iron Man dispatch and versus Loki for dispatch to see which one actually is the best striker among those two. There are a lot of options. You can use Gwenpool, you can use a Sentry, you can use like a lot of characters in there. But Loki's fifth skill is just too OP. Loki is not the same type instinct of uh, Iron Man while Gwenpool with the holiday uniform, the April Fool's uniform and Daredevil also uh, both are actually uh, same instinct you can see 2.2% you can see 2.2% in the, is this thing as well and on the other hand Loki actually is a different instinct character his, uh, his destruction still this fifth skill does a lot more damage and the, it actually clears the mobs as well so we will be testing that out uh, to find which striker is the best of course we will be getting our best score in ABX today as well so let's go dive right into the runs all right, first of all, we'll start from Dispatch. This is with the Daredevil as the striker. Uh, sorry, Loki as a striker. Uh, and I'm gonna show you only the last phase because that's what mattered. There's no point in showing the whole three minutes. And uh, we had a bunch of time left. Around, I think I had uh, nearly the same amount of time or maybe a bit more, a bit less. Uh, on autoplay, it, it is a bit weird and I don't like Iron Man's fourth skill, although it does one shot. But it's, it's we just waste a lot of time, so I just don't like it. Anyways, we are in Loki here. And we are able to get this phase down and clear the stage with 59 seconds to go, which was nice. And now we have Daredevil as the striker because a lot of people actually said that Daredevil is awesome for him, uh, for GBR, for Dispatch as well. So I'm just finding out if that is actually better than Loki. Now again, uh, there could be a 5 to 10 second difference. A 5 to 10 second difference does not define a character or certain things be better than the other things. Uh, 5 to 10 second is a very... Uh, Especially in auto, uh, on dispatch, 5 to 10 seconds is literally nothing, okay? It's just RNG uh, on the mobs, your clears, your iframes, and the wastage time and everything. So it does not matter that much, but let's see. And this should be the last guy, and we are able to get it down at 1 4, a minute and 4 seconds remaining. So there is a 5 second difference between Loki and Daredevil. So Daredevil seems better, but 5 seconds? I think Loki is as good as Daredevil. Let's go for the ABX runs now. So, this one is with the, the Gwenpool run that I showed also in the previous video. So, if you have seen the previous video, the 12 million ABX video for Iron Man, you can skip this part if you want to. Uh, this is the exact same run that I showed. It is Gwenpool as the striker. Now, I can use Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange does help with the time freeze, but I actually have a big, big issue with Doctor Strange specifically. Sometimes because of the time like because of the time freeze that he applies to the beast I saw some patterns of the beast changing and because of that I was having issues delaying the rowers So I'm not sure if you should be trying to use your doctor strange as a striker for your iron man or not Okay, like he's a nice uh, doctor strange is a nice striker It does help you out a lot with that time freeze, but it also hinders the mov movement the attack patterns and uh, the timing sometimes of the rowers of the beast because of which sometimes you might have issues uh, delaying the rower you might have issues canceling the rower you might have issues basically using extra rotations extra skills to get some more damage before the rower sometimes when you really want to delay 
if Doc Strange really comes around, if he does that uh, time freeze attack, the time freeze is gonna be refreshed after like four seconds, and then if the beast pattern changes, you will or you might just lose all that beautiful damage that you might have gotten if Doc Strange was not there. So nice striker, but I don't really recommend it. I don't really like. I have not done a comparison between Doc Strange and everything, but. It's just me. It could be different for you. You guys can choose Doctor Strange. Don't be like, because I said that. Hey, gosh, uh, <laughs> that, that's bad or something. You can use it and just try to get whatever works for you is the best. Okay, let's go with that. And we are at 9.3 million, 9.4 million, actually. It was an awesome run, man. Iron Man finally being in the meta finally is the absolute best Blast Mill character in the whole game with a tier 3 busted tier 3, uh, tier 4, sorry. Which is amazing. I love how tanky he is. I love the damage. I love everything. I love how he can actually carry your basically your account in a lot of those game modes, even GBR, World Boss Legend. He can literally count. Uh, he can literally push your account from level uh, stage twenty. Uh, sorry, stage twenty four. Uh, I believe up to all the way up to I think stage fourteen. Uh, 40 what is that Ultron World Boss Legend which is huge nobody really pushes that high which is amazing so I like him I love him man for sure so let's see what we can do here I think I, if I should have used that tier 3 skill a bit early, uh, late I might have gotten a little bit damage and maybe 12.1 with the with the team up anyways so we got 11.3 million right here with this rotation which is nice pushing towards the 11.4 nice we war uh, I think I should have just used the tier 4 skill I'm not sure why I did not use it anyways gonna use it with the th uh, third skill we got uh, 8 seconds remaining 11.7 there we go 11.8 and here we go last year 3 skill coming around and we got our damage up to well 12 million of course just like the video now we switch to Loki as the striker and see the difference it does make it does make a big difference honestly uh, and you will be surprised how much actually the thing is that now I tried to use the Loki striker with the tier 4 skill I could not because of uh, of course uh, that did it did not trigger basically it did not trigger uh, So you can get a lot more damage and uh, the reason is simple. I was around 2.2 Around this mark. So we are like 400k over already on this thing So the main thing is you it makes a big difference when you use Loki when there are a lot of mobs around the beast. Just like in the Loki ABX run, the more mobs that you have around, the better the damage will be. Uh, and the better uh, the, the area, the better actually the area that Loki covers. Now the best thing about Loki and why it's actually very good, it's actually a lot better than others, he actually clears the mobs. That is the reason why Loki is so OP in ABX. His damage is awesome. On top of that, he actually clears every single mob waves that actually comes around every seven seconds which none no other character in the game does that is why loki is so op in abx because of the consistency the damage and the of course he can definitely do all those things look at that we got like four or five mobs around and it does some nice chunk of damage we're already at 8.6 million around here i think we should be around 9 million actually we will be over 9 million around the rover time look at that that is awesome 9 million around the halfway mark that's insane okay and that is loki i i make about i think 8.6 or something if i don't use loki and we got some extra damage from loki and the skills we did delay the rover as well which is beautiful and now let's just wait i try to save two mobs here yeah Two or three mobs if I can. The reason is simple. When Beast goes for the iframe during the rower, if you have mobs around, you can use your 4 cancel, 2 cancel, 5 rotation early. You can start it early so you, that you don't waste time uh, waiting on uh, waiting waiting for the beast to come out of the iframe and then use it. Okay, So you waste literally less time doing that so I really like it. Anyways. So we are at 11.5 million, we have the last door incoming and we have Loki doing some nice damage. We have the the green aura, man. I'm just, I can't just wait for Loki season 2. He would be awesome. He would be insane, man. And this is awesome. Gonna use the uh, tier 3 skill here. We did get some damage in, not the best because the tier 3, well, the direction changes because of the iframe. It was, it, uh, tier 3 does not have an iframe ignore by the way. Well, 
He might, but it does not really work in ABX. Anyways, nothing actually works in ABX <laughs> most of the time. Anyways, uh, we got uh, 11.4 million around this marker. We got the next rotation and look at the damage. Still, it's over freaking 11 million. 11.8 million, we still have ways to go. We use the freaking tier 4 skill and look at all the damage from Loki. Wow, 12 million. 12 million and there we go we have a freaking 12.2 million yeah that is insanity all right so even though that was actually very close dispatch a uh, four to five second or five to six second gap does not really matter a lot and even though loki is not the same instinct it seems loki provides a lot of coverage to iron man specifically because the because of the aov the fifth skill is bonkers we know how strong that is it clears mobs it uh, helps out uh, with the damage specifically if the mobs are around in abx uh, it does tremendous amount of damage come uh, depending on how better your build is on your account of course the loki build is going to be exactly the same just like the loki build that you have on the uh, on your account basically so you know of course need to have your loki built up as well to do damage but that's not a insane build that's like eight or ten of his blessings on this guy so i do think that everybody should use loki uh, overall it looks like loki is the best striker i might try for world boss legend in case there is someone else better than loki but we will find that later down the line for now loki is the best striker for iron man and i'll do more comparison if i find any better candidate for the comparison as well so let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about the runs the strikers and do you have any other strikers in mind that might be better than loki or maybe some other characters for iron man specifically let me know what you think about that and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one